Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and today it's all about rainbow goldfish swimming in a circle. This Hero Arts Goldfish stamp set has so many fish in it, like a ridiculous number of fish. And if you know me, I like to color all the stamps in a set when I, when I get it out. So I decided to put them all in a circle and make them all swim together. And I picked out random rainbow colors. No, not in, entirely random. But I picked out rainbow colors so I could make a rainbow of goldfish swimming in a circle. Now, notice that this little particular goldfish I'm coloring right now, I don't think he's a goldfish. I think he's a beta. I, I had beta fish when I was growing up, and that's what I think he is. But maybe there's a fancy goldfish that's shaped like that, that has fins like that, but I don't think so. So, just so you know, there could be a renegade in that stamp set. But I'm going to make it like a color wheel. And this is a great place if you've taken the Copic Jumpstart class or any of the classes that I have, the Jumpstart classes in particular, where you make color wheels. Because this is a great chance to use them and I'm going from one color into another and trying to make transitional colors in between them. So the purple fish has both red violets on the left hand side and blue that's going to connect with the right hand side. And you can use those same kind of colors in each one of your fish to create those transitions going all the way around the circle. And if you have a chance to use the learning that you had in a class, why not do it, right? The images that I'm using, of course, are goldfish, but you can do this with flowers, you can do this with birds, you can do it with any kind of an image, especially if you've got a whole bunch of them, and if they're facing different directions. Now, you may have noticed, and I'm waiting for somebody to leave me testy comments about one of my fish being upside down, because one of my fish is upside down, the one at the bottom. But what I decided is that he is okay down there because if you look at him in a certain way, he almost has the look of being like a turtle. If it, like the the part that's actually the top of his head that's facing down could be his schnoz, like he's got a really big nose and he's kind of doing a little curl curl with his body. So he's really not upside down. But if you turn the page upside down, he actually is upside down. But I needed him to fit in there, and I couldn't find another fish place for him that, that would be there because he'd have to be swimming in a whole different section of the circle. So there you go. I fudged. And I'm okay with that. And that's the way it is. So whoever gets this card may or may not notice that one of the fish is upside down. With all of this, I wasn't worrying a whole lot about the blending. I just... Kind of, I tried to blend them so that I didn't have harsh areas, but I wasn't worrying about light sources or anything. Decided to add a little bit of dots to make some bubbles all the way around the circle. And here's a little tip for creating some matching, coordinating pattern papers. Well, not pattern papers, but layers of paper. Use the markers that you used in your coloring to create little layers for your card. And here I use two yellows around two sides of one square. And you can use scraps of stuff. I mean, if you have stuff stamped in the middle, no one's going to know. So if you have stuff that you don't need anymore and you've done some practicing on it, by all means, just use them as paper layers. And here I'm going to use some blue and some purple to make some layers to add to my card as well. And these are going to color coordinate perfectly with the coloring that I did because I'm using the same markers. And see how nicely all of that gets covered up so that no one is going to have any idea that I just did some slapping on of color to make my border papers. Fun, isn't it? Really simple looking card, even though it had a lot of complex things in it. I hope you learned something from this. Got some tips you can use on a card that you're going to make. So I want you to hop over to my blog. There is a little blog hop going on today, so you might want to check that out. There's a link to it in the doobly-doo as well as all the supplies and I will see you guys again very soon. Make sure you click that like button and the subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.